Hey there and welcome over here today to my new dump and go crock pot video. I couldn't be more excited to be sharing this one with you today just because all of these recipes are about five ingredients or less which is just wonderful. If you are busy like me you could just throw a few ingredients into the crock pot and you could go, you could be gone all day and then come home and your dinner is ready. Anyways I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you are new here I would love to have you so go ahead and subscribe down below the video but let's Let's get to cooking. We're gonna go ahead and start out making these steak fajitas. So to get these started, you're gonna wanna dice up one onion into smaller pieces. I chose to use a purple onion just because that's what I prefer. And then you're also going to want to chop up a bell pepper or two. I just chopped up one bell pepper. I also do want to mention you could add in any vegetables at this point and chop them up, whatever you like in your fajitas. And now I'm going to chop up my steak. This is just some sirloin steak and it's a, pow a pound and a half of steak if you were wondering. And I'm just chopping it up into smaller pieces as well. Over to my crock pot, I did spray it with some non-stick spray. I added our steak right in there, and then I added our onions and peppers. I also added half of a packet of some fajita seasoning, and then one can of diced tomatoes. You're just going to stir everything to combine to get everything nice and incorporated. Then you're going to plop the lid right on top and you're going to cook this on high for about two to three hours or until the steak is cooked. And here are my fajitas. I just served mine with some guacamole, lime, sour cream, cheese, all the fixings that I like. The steak came out perfect. It was not chewy. It was nice and tender. Now we're gonna go ahead and make a really fun one. This is some French onion chicken in the crock pot. So to get started, I'm just dicing up one yellow onion into rings, of course. You could dice it up any way you like, but we do like this recipe when our onions are diced into rings. Over to my crock pot, I sprayed it with some non-stick spray. I added our two chicken breasts right in there. Of course, you could use more chicken breasts or less, just depending on your family size. I added our onions right on top of that, and then you're gonna be adding one packet of this dry Lipton onion soup mix. The last thing I'm doing before I get this cooking is adding this can of this French onion soup and then I'm going to plop the lid right on top and cook this on low for about six to seven hours or until my chicken reaches the internal temperature of 165 degrees. And here's what it looks like when it's done. I'll be the first to admit it is not absolutely gorgeous, but it will taste great. So I just removed the chicken and the onions to my casserole dish. I did um, pour on the juices on top of that and then I layered on some Swiss cheese and this is gonna go in the oven to broil for about a minute or two. This is going to make it like some authentic French onion chicken. And here's my plate. I just topped mine with some white rice. This would also pair great with some mashed potatoes or any type of veggie. Now we're making some easy queso chicken tacos. If you're not a huge fan of queso, I do still think you might like this recipe because I'm not a big fan of queso and I love this recipe. So to get it started, I sprayed my crock pot with some nonstick spray and then I added in two chicken breasts followed by a half a packet of some taco seasoning. And then I added in one can of some Rotel along with one can of these diced up mild green chilies. You could add more or less green chilies. My family just loves green chili. And now you're gonna add half of a container of queso. I just added the salsa queso because that's what I found at my store. I went ahead and added a half a cup of some water to this or you could add a half a cup of chicken broth, whatever your preference is. I gave this a really good stir and then I cooked this on low for about six to eight hours or you could cook this on high for about four hours. After this was through cooking, I just shredded it up with my KitchenAid hand mixer, or you could shred your chicken up with two forks or a meat masher. However you wanna shred your chicken, shred it up right now, and then it is ready to serve.
Here are my tacos. I just served mine with some sour cream, cheese, cilantro, and tomato. These came out really, really good. Like I said previously, even if you're not a big queso fan, I do think you would love this recipe still. Now we're making the best ever chicken drumsticks. This recipe is so good and it might blow your mind. So to my crock pot, I'm adding about two pounds of chicken drumsticks. Per usual, add more or less chicken depending on your family size. Now to this bowl, I'm going to be adding in about half a cup of some jelly. I know that sounds weird, but you gotta trust me, you will love this recipe. Don't knock it until you try it. From there, I added in a half a cup of ketchup along with a third a cup of some low sodium soy sauce. You are going to be wanting to add in about two teaspoons of some minced garlic. I didn't have fresh garlic on hand, so I just added about a half a teaspoon of some garlic powder and then I whisked this all together. I poured this sauce mixture right on top, plopped the lid on, and cooked this on low for about five to six hours. Here is my plate of food. I just served my chicken drumsticks with some steamed peas along the side and some cooked up white rice. I cannot even begin to tell you how good this recipe is. It truly is delicious and that sauce is phenomenal. I poured it all over the white rice because it's that good. Chili is one of those classic foods that everybody loves, so now we're making some homemade chili. So to get this one started in my Dutch oven, I'm just going to brown up one pound of some ground beef. This recipe is amazing because you could double it or half it very easily. Now that you have your ground beef completely cooked, you're gonna to wanna to remove all of the excess grease. I just remove my excess grease with a paper towel. I just wiggle it in there until it's all gone. I know you've probably seen me do this on my channel before, but I just love this little trick. Anyways, to my crock pot, I added our ground beef along with one can of drained and rinsed kidney beans. I forgot to mention I did spray my crock pot with some non-stick spray at first. I also added in one can of diced tomatoes along with eight ounces of tomato sauce and one packet of some chili seasoning mix. Of course, you could use some homemade chili seasoning mix if that's what you prefer. You're just going to mix all of this together to get it combined. This cooked on low for about five to six hours and here's my bowl of chili. Of course, everybody eats their chili in different ways, but I just topped mine with some cheese, cilantro, cherry tomatoes, and some lime. I just love this chili recipe because it's very few ingredients and it's very budget friendly. Now we're going to be making some classic cubed steak. So to get this one started, you're gonna dice up one onion into circular rings once again. To begin on the sauce, I'm just adding one can of cream of chicken to this bowl. If you prefer cream of mushroom or cream of celery, you could substitute it for that. And then I added a half a packet of Lipton onion soup mix along with a half a cup of some milk. And then I whisked this all together. Over to my crock pot, I just added our diced up onion right in there, and that's kind of like the base layer. And then on top of that, you're gonna add your four cubed steaks. This recipe really couldn't get any easier. I swear it's a pretty simple one. And then on top of this, you're gonna add that yummy sauce. Of course, you could salt and pepper this if you would like. This is gonna cook on low for about six to seven hours. Here is my plate of food. I just served my cube steak on a bed of some white rice. If you prefer mashed potatoes, you could serve it on some mashed potatoes. I also served it with some steamed broccoli. This cube steak was amazing. It was not chewy, it was perfect. And that is a wrap of this video today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And some of you guys might already know this, but I do have plenty more Crock-Pot video on my channel like this, and I will leave them linked down below in my description box if you want to go check them out. As always, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe down below the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.